Hi, this is Nadia Ali, and I'm going to take you on a behind-the-scenes look for the making of the Rapture music video. Because Rapture has such a rich, successful history, we knew that we had to execute it in such a way that we would be able to honor the original piece. A lot of the themes that you'll notice in the music video are themes of opposites or juxtapositions. So you'll see a lot of lights uh, juxtaposed with dark, you see fire and water. So I was very insistent that each of the images uh, should not only have an artistic merit, but also hold some kind of historical value. The images that we've used are significant because they're visual representations of the thoughts and the feelings and the emotions that Nadia communicated to us as the crew in pre-production and, and really in, even in production. And I know that this might be a bit of a rerun uh, for those who played close attention, but I'm excited to go over it and explain what each of the looks were all about. The basic idea of the club scene is that Nadia is literally looking for something. The thing that Nadia is really searching within herself for is both literally and figuratively um, under her nose through the entirety of the video. I really love that dynamic arc that she travels in this because it's not really based on the hero's journey. It's more of a realization and an awakening as opposed to a journey where somebody grasp something that they didn't have in the first place. In Nadia's case, this is something that she always had. And as an awakening, she's just realizing that she already is the queen of clubs. The mirror room was an important concept for me because I've been interested to show the heavy emphasis that's been put on an artist's image. While this is obviously an important part of what an artist does, the most important thing is the actual substance, and that is, to me, the talent. That mirror room in the first scene, actually, this scene right here, um, was also this scene. So we shot it in the same studio uh, in Sacramento, and we were able to do that really quickly because of the amount of <laughs> amazing set designers that we had. I personally was able to work with the B camera, and in addition to that, worked closely with Ashley Bothorp, the art director, on set construction and design. When originally drawing this room, we wanted to see Nadia from all these different angles, and that's not really possible when you have a lot of equipment in the area as well. Basically, every time we moved the camera, we had to reposition the mirrors. I think it is really telling that the room looks so beautiful and there's glitter and glamour and yet there's no place in the room where Nadia can escape the image of herself. Um, this concept is completely true to life and if we haven't yet decided who we are or what our motivating factor is, this is something that can weigh heavily on an individual until it has been resolved. There's actually a really symbolic climax to the mirror environment in which Nadia basically shatters the old shadowy image and that's a symbol for her releasing of the new image. What we wanted to highlight here is that the individual who is really self-aware, who knows who they are, their potential is actually limitless. The white room represents the lighter side of the music industry. Brando directed me to just be myself and have fun in front of the camera, so Noshin dressed me in something simple, yet edgy, for the dance sequence and chose a black latex catsuit as a bold contrast to the white background. I chose to re-release Rapture as part of the Queen of Clubs trilogy, which is a compilation of all of my songs that have been remixed throughout the years. I chose to shoot the video for Rapture to the Avicii remix in order to introduce it to a brand new generation that uh, might not be as familiar with the original I.O. version of the song. The Avicii remix of Rapture has a great energy to it and is really uplifting and I wanted to shoot a music video to that kind of a soundtrack. The fire room is still elegant in a unique way, but it is of course meant to represent a raw and a darker theme. In one sense, this room is symbolic for how an individual can develop many types of defense mechanisms. 
In our production here, we had these take shape in a form of the fire and the barbed wire. Now this scene is one of my favorites only because uh, it was a lot of fun. The fire room let these great bokeh in the background and the Zeiss primes that we were shooting on really allowed us to get very close to her. We tried to use a lot of different types of fire and we achieved this through about 400 small candles. We also had slow fuel burns hanging in the orbs. Added so much depth and detail to these simple scenes that you don't usually see in music videos. We had a difficult time deciding which of the amazing dresses we should use for this scene. Uh, we wanted something strong visually, but that also lightly alluded to the idea that Nadia was wearing armor. And after testing this particular um, dress done by Giovanni Couture um, with the color temperature of the light, we knew we had found a winner. The final touch was to make Nadia's hair and makeup appear completely different than in the previous environments. So we styled her hair extremely curly and accentuated more edgy or aggressive features on her face. The water room was one of the environments in which we really heavily underscored the juxtaposition of opposite elements. So in a very literal sense, you would expect the element of water to cool and eventually extinguish um, a fire. However, what we wanted to show was that these opposite elements could actually coexist in the same frame, that they could actually add a more visually striking tone to the frame and to the production as a whole. Shooting the water scene was probably the most challenging part of the video because it was freezing cold outdoors. And even though it was a, a heated pool, um, the temperature outside didn't allow it to get so warm. Those of us who actually set up the water room, people were wearing wetsuits, it was, it was very cold. And the, the camera crew standing around, we were in parkas and jackets and she got right in there. I don't know how she kept a straight face. We were able to shoot at 2K at 120 frames per second in the middle of the night with this big fire on this pool and uh, it was a lot of fun and I don't think that we would have been able to do that without the technology that we were using. We got to shoot on the Mysterium X Red 1. Uh, it was really nice for when we were shooting those really dark scenes like the fire on the water. Otherwise we wouldn't be able to capture that, that look that it gave to the music video. The water scene was actually a really exciting scene because it, it gave us a chance to completely paint Nadia in gold. I mean, we painted her face, her arms, her legs. She was completely covered in gold paint. Kind of the whole thing of Nadia bathing herself in this, in this water and cleansing herself of her old image and becoming this queen of clubs. So the idea of this mixing of elements is to show that experiences can make us either stronger or weaker depending on what we focus on the most. I think at the end of the day, all of these experiences make us who we are. This scene is obviously um, almost the mirror image of the opening scene, except for um, the obvious point that Nadia has changed. And this is after an awakening has occurred. It was really important to Nadia that this was an awakening, a realization. Um, that each of the movements communicated confidence, um, that the styling was executed in a way that it was unique and tailored to suit Nadia in the interpretation of the personification of the Queen of Clubs. Yeah. We got a big old camera. <laughs> Here I am in limited two. 
This is my personal bedroom. It's kind of like a Persian nightclub in the sense that there are mirrors everywhere and there's always at least one hot guy checking himself out. <laughs> That's me. Okay. Hi, I'm a Mac. And I'm a PC. Hey PC, did you check out this new iPhone we just created? It's the fastest 4G network on the planet. And I hear that you... What's that thing? <laughs> dun dun dun! <laughs> He's better than I am! I smiled! <laughs> The basic idea behind the club scene is that Nadia is literally and also um Pants. Yes. Oh, oh, oh okay. 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 I, I swear I didn't do anything. <laughs> okay, ready? Yeah. Sure, I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, let's shoot. As long as I don't look have... blind. <laughs> Never. Well, that is not cute. <laughs> as long as I don't. We're just gonna go one right there. You spin me right round, baby, right round like a round. I think I see one. I think I see him right there, there. Yeah, there he is. There he is. Got some hair envy? And you can sound it. Like with your hair. Action! that you've enjoyed digging a little bit deeper into the origins and inspirations uh, for this new Rapture video. Uh, seeing the fun things that we were able to do and all the little challenges that we overcame to bring this video to you. I really hope you did enjoy it.